Hello and welcome to a tutorial by Jeff James of Axe, your 9 to 5. This is called How to Easily and Quickly Create a Child Theme in WordPress and Why You Need a Child Theme. A recent WordPress survey said that 85% of web page designers, yes us, customise their WordPress theme but only 35% use a child theme when doing so. Totally mad, I know. But why? Why is this? Possibly because of a lack of understanding about what a child theme is, or due to thinking that to do it, it must be really hard. But it isn't hard nowadays, and in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to easily get a child theme on your website and explain a bit about why you want and need a child theme. So what's this all about? A child theme is something I've been aware of for a long time, about a year or so. I knew I needed one, but I did nothing about it because I didn't have the time, it looked too confusing, it was too much hassle. But it wasn't. Why do you need a child theme? Well, to start, any new code or adjustments that you make to your paper theme, your parent theme, sorry, i.e. the theme on your website, for example, the DV theme, when the theme gets upgraded to a newer version, the existing code or adjustments that you may have made that are outside of the theme updates gets undone. They get deleted. In short, they stop working. This can be really frustrating where you have a few upgrades going on. Putting your upgrades into the child theme instead of the parent theme makes it safe when the parent theme is updated. For example, I want my blog to say the last time I updated my article, not when it was originally published. Because I update my articles regularly, I keep them dewy fresh and spanking new. I like my articles to be green, evergreen, and not go all old and moldy. So I put a great bit of code into the theme called a functions dot php in the functions theme area and this allows me to show when I last update the article as you can see here last updated the 4th of September 2019 however if I don't have a child theme when I get to the update divi theme which is like every other day the code gets wiped out and it no longer says last updated I then need to go back in and redo it all over again and it's a right old pain in the neck and a waste of my time. So we create a child theme to make it all much better. When the Divi theme in the parent part of the theme gets uploaded, the child reminds the parent that we also have extra code and features that it is then put back in automatically and I don't need to do it anymore. Now, making a child theme was a bit confusing at first. WordPress sent me a video and an article to read which left me a bit, um, uh, what? So, I've been doing some research online recently and I found another way, a much easier way, to do it and I wanted to share it with you. We can do it via a plugin and it can be deleted after you've used it if you want to. I've used a plugin called Child Theme Configurator. It's free to download and it seems to be updated frequently and has thousands of users so it seems pretty good. Okay, first go into plugins on your website. In the word key area, type in child theme. This brings up a variety of plugins for the child theme. I choose Child Theme Configurator. There you go, type it in. Choose the install now. See it's installing. See it's got activate there. Press activate. And if you go over to the tools area, there you see child theme configurator there. You can deactivate if you need to in the future. Go over to tools. And you can see in there, there's the child theme. Click on that. I'm going to do some work on the child theme now. 
There you go, that's the main page to activate the child theme properly in line with your website. There you are, child theme configurator version. It says thank you for installing child theme configurator. All the different tabs at the top, don't worry too much about these. We're only going to concentrate on the main one, which is the parent slash child theme for the moment. So, first section, select an action. We're going to select create a new child theme. Scroll down. Just wait for it to catch up. And then step two, select a parent theme. I chose the theme that I was using at the present time. The active theme you're using for the site, for example, extra, divi, for example. And then you to click on analyze. There you see underneath. Don't worry too much about that. Move down to step four. Give your theme for a child a folder name. Usually the theme, it's usually the theme name, for example, extra, a little hyphen, and the word child. Step five. Select where to save the new styles. We chose the primary style sheet. Step six, keep the default options here. Use, select use the WordPress style queue. Step seven. As you can see in the section, you can change the name or the author name, etc. However, the plugin has done, done everything for you, so I recommend leaving it as it is. Step eight copy menus area. All we do here is check on the little box where it says note. Nothing else to do. Just click on the little. There you go. Click on the note. This want option really helps a lot. It means that everything from the parent theme is copied straight into the child theme for us. This helps, especially where we're making a child theme some way into developing our website. And step nine: click on create new child theme, and it's quicker than blinking. A note should come up saying uh, child theme, extra theme, or child, whatever your theme's called, has been generated successfully. And then re review your child theme before activating. If you go to the appearance on the left hand side of your WordPress options, you can see the themes. Click on the themes, and there you can see the child version of your theme sitting in the themes area. On the child theme, click activate. If it hasn't already happened. Easy peasy. So now if we need to update our theme and put some put in some new code, for example, we can do it in the child theme rather than the parent theme going forward. You can find the themes under appearance on the left hand side of your WordPress index and you have themes editor at the bottom under appearance. Go into the child theme editor, you can go into tools and you can see the child themes at the bottom of the tools index on the left side of your WordPress. And then you can go into the files at the top of these different files and you can see underneath all the different files you can click on where you might wish to place a customized code. To then see this you can go back into appearance and select the theme editor and you can see the child option within that area. 
As I mentioned before, the function.php file area is not done via this section, but if you click on the section here, you can then go into the child theme functions.php and select what you want to do from there. And slowly for you because I know it's difficult when I'm trying to follow something for myself. Sometimes people whip through them too quickly, so I'd rather take my time and uh, you get your head around this stuff. I don't want you too fast. So sorry for those who are experts, I'm a bit slow for you, but these are for, for new beginners. There we go. Into appearance, you can see it in there. It's now become the main theme. There you go. So in theme editor, as you can see. If you go into the um, theme editor, you've got the child theme in there, extra child at the top. And then you put your code in as you need to, whatever you feel you need to do in terms of changing your um, changing the style of your website. Add bits of code in to help the speciality functions that we tend to do as, as web designers. Now I'm going to take it from there, the functions.php, and do it from there, and update my piece of code in there that I used, as I showed you earlier, in terms of uh, making my uh, blog's last update rather than the date of publication. I go in there, within the child theme, I put the new code, or the code I want to put in, in there. You might read this thing or watching this thinking, I'm never going to do this. I'm never going to change and customize my website. And I thought the same. But sometimes you do. Having a child theme really, really helps. It comes up quite a lot. When I go to Elegant Themes or WordPress for questions, they say, have you got a child theme? I say, no, I haven't. And they say, you really need to have one because it, it makes this sort of stuff much easier. I hope this has been useful. And please share with your friends and give us a like at the end of the video. Also, you want to read more of my musings and articles, have a look here at my blog, action9to5.com. Click on the link below. And also, uh, my experience of developing my own business online, I can share with you some great videos to help you as well. Take care. Thank you. Goodbye.